Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, welcome. Uh, it's lovely to see some new faces popping up in the comments that I've not seen before. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me. So today, the long awaited video of my seven year old's curriculum picks for this year. I'm doing this kind of after the fact because um, we are moving on to some different things. So this is kind of what's been what we've been using and what's been working for us over the last uh, six to nine months. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about what we've used, what I'm keeping, what I'm not going to use again and and so on. So um, I will start by saying there is a um, segment of this video that is sponsored by OutSchool. Um, I have a link in the description uh, for when, when we talk about it, you'll be able to get some money off classes and try them out for yourself. Um, these videos uh, that I do about OutSchool, they, I get paid in vouchers for OutSchool and then my kids get to use OutSchool. That's literally the reason I do them. One, because I love using it and I don't promote anything on this channel that I don't actually use all the time. So you won't see me um, promoting something that I'm not using all the time. For example, we used to use reading eggs, so we would promote reading eggs. My kids have all outgrown reading eggs and we don't use it anymore. I won't be promoting it on this channel as an example. OK, so um, let's get into the video and talk about the things that we've been using for Albert. So um, I will stick some photographs down here. I don't have all of the resources in front of me. Um, and if people want me to do a flick through, just put it in the comments of different things. And uh, which, if you want something you particularly like, and I will do like a YouTube short of me flicking through, um, just because you don't need me talking about it. You can just have a little look and kind of saves you going to like W. H. Smith's or buying something if you're then looking through it and going, this isn't for me. So firstly, for maths, I'm going to go subject by subject. Um, excuse me. First of all, for maths, we used the Scholastic Maths. Now, these are like an older book. You can't get them on Amazon, but you can get them in WH Smith's. Um, I included a picture here. We used five to six, which is year one. Now, if he was in school, he would be in year two, but we don't start any formal learning until they're six, almost seven. So it seemed like the best place to start was right at the beginning. Um, so it turned out it was too easy for him. He didn't get bored, but he just zoomed through it really, really quickly. Um, we didn't, add, we haven't finished it yet. We are going to finish it just because he needs, he needs those foundations and things like multiplication and division. But he's one of the children, one of my children who just gets maths really, really easily. Um, my eldest son has never just clicked. It's never just clicked. He has to work at it all the time. Um, whereas my other, my daughter and my other, and my son Albert, who's my seven year old, um, they are just more mathematically minded. I think it's just something that they find easier. But they struggle in other areas, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, there were lots of like the things, um, like the shapes and the addition and and any and subtraction and stuff like that. He was just like zooming through it. Um, but then there was elements that he hadn't done before. So we haven't really done time with him. Um, we hadn't done things like multiplication and division. So all of that learning uh, was useful, but it was mainly, it was like half the book that he was just like doing 10 pages in one go because in the time that it would have taken, say his brother to go in his book and do three pages, it was he was just doing 10, just knocking them out because he already knew the content. Um, he had used things like Math Seeds, Komodo Maths, um, IXL. So he'd already done that stuff. And once it was in, clearly he's the kind of person that once maths is in, it's in. Um, and he was just, he wasn't bored, but he was just zooming through it. So we will finish the book um, potentially. I've said that, I've said I'll finish the book. However, um, I did mention in my previous video about the Brain Quest workbooks, he's doing grades one to two, which is year two to three. Um, which is so it's age appropriate, like that's that's the equivalent. Grade one and two is great year two and three here. Um, so it's eight, so it's actually he's using the brain quest book that's correct for his age if he was and and his level if he was at school. Um, and he's zooming through that as well. He's zooming through the maths. So I might not finish that book. I might see where he is at the end of the brain quest book because that's got multiplication, division, it's got some fractions, it's got time, um, measurement, like all of that is in there. 
um, I will do a I will do a proper flick through showing you everything that's inside. Um, if anybody wants me to do that, you've got plenty of time to complete the book if I if you want to. Um, like it's meant to be done in like for th like for like over July and August, so you've got plenty of time to do it if you want to. Um, but yeah, so we might move on to um, like the year three book, which would be um, seven to eight which is obviously jumping two years um but we'll see we'll see how he's doing at the end of the summer after the brain quest book so uh reading so i've talked loads on this channel about how much i love the mcguffey books uh they are really old they are like 1830s kind of that's when they were um written i think see the 1830s or 1860s either way it's a really long time um and i am a full believer in if it ain't broke don't fix it now my eldest was a phonics person charles just he did phonics and he just it clicked for him bessie and albert have not been phonics people they have not got it they have been sight word people and i think that's the beauty about home education is that i'm i've able to, been able to teach them to read how they've needed me to teach them to read rather than them struggling for ages um being taught in a way that doesn't make sense to them that's why home ed is so amazing and we have used uh, the mcguffey primer put a little video a video a picture in here and we have used copy work from that so what by that I mean is he's read the he's read the story and then I have got him to copy literally right I've written it down um in hand in my handwriting and then he has copied it line by line so this is handwriting practice it's understanding sentence structure it's understanding punctuation and grammar um and in it's 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 a time tested it's my cat meowing one minute um she wants me to open the door for her um it's it's a time tested method of teaching children to write and it's working really really well his handwriting is better than bessie's you know he started it um earlier than she has like they started using the books around the same time um um maybe she was maybe like a year ahead of him but he's he's his handwriting is um, amazing I think for his age um, and then we will continue this after the summer we'll go back to the primer and um, and just go through it we've also been using Bob's books again picture here um, the Bob's books are um, very very sweet they're very very easy the stories are better than like the Biff Chip and Kipper I haven't found him being bored by them um, however he has done all, we had all three of the um, like beginner reader packs and he is now completely outgrown them. He can read them in, you know, what feels like three seconds with no mistakes. Um, on the rare occasion he rushes and he makes a mistake, he self-corrects like that. And we're definitely ready for bigger books now. I'm actually considering going down to our bookcase and just pulling out some regular picture books that are, you know, don't have a lot of rice don't have a lot of words in um um you know where they've got like two or three lines per page and just reading those with him getting him to read those to me so then the story content is better for him so history and geography and kind of other subjects um i have been using paw print badges and i use paw print badges for all of the kids for things like history and geography um just because it's like a fun way of um Oh, excuse me. Wouldn't be an event all the way video without me yawning. <laughs> um, and I've got a couple of them here. I say a couple of them. It's like a big old pile. Ah. So these are some of the ones we've. These are the ones that the kids have already earned. So we've got the coronation badge uh, that they did um, last year. I just haven't sewn them on yet because I'm that kind of person. Uh, we did the Egyptians at the beginning of this year. And then we've also earned the Stone Age. I kind of started a little club and we learned, earned the Stone Age in it. Um, and then we've got these Wheel of the Years. These are the central ones. And then you put, um, so we've got Beltane. And then it goes like this. There's Letha, Lamas. We've just celebrated Letha. But we didn't actually celebrate it this year because my husband uh, lost his job. Literally, um, the it was on. we were going to be celebrating it on the Friday and my husband lost his job that Thursday. It was actually Letha he lost his job. Um and so yeah. Um that's one of the reasons why I'm back on this channel is because I'm desperately trying to get into the uh, get it monetized so I can start 
um, so I can contribute financially instead of just contributing every other way. So there we go. It goes like that, basically, all the way around. Um, so, yes. Um, the more videos, the more views. Hopefully, I will maybe be able to get into the creator fund or whatever it's called. It's not that's that's TikTok, isn't it? What's it called? Partner program is what it's called. So we've also got Aquarium, we've got the Kindness Challenge. Those are one some that are coming up. Um but check out the paw print website, the links in the description as always. And um there's loads and they bring out new ones all the time. So it's a really good shout. So the other thing I've added this at the bottom of my list, it should have been at the top, is, is a literature study. So this is English again. Um, I have a membership to Hearth Magic, but you don't have to have a membership to Hearth Magic. They're on Etsy here in the links in the description. Um, and we use one of their literature studies. I've been, I've been using them for all of the kids, um, but Ch Albert was using Charlotte's Web. It's very his age and he loves Charlotte's Web, mainly because his guinea pig is called Wilbur and um he and the pig in charlotte's web if you've not read it it's called wilbur and that's why he was named wilbur um so um uh yes so he's he's absolutely loved that and we will do another one um soon i just don't know which one we're gonna do um he, I'm, I'm just kind of we're focusing on the summer and getting his brain quest book done and then um I will probably do another video like this in August about what I'm planning for um, September onwards. For science, I've been using Oak Academy and he's done a few lessons on there just to kind of test it out and see if it's right for him. And he's loving it. Um, he's definitely the year one stage um, just because he's not done a lot of science really. Um, he's his the sites that he has done have been out school, out school classes he's tried two different teachers on out school he really loved both of them but his favorite was miss christie um and i've put again i've put a link to her class in the description and if you use my code um bl 2024 then you will get i think it's 20 dollars, but it works out as about 15 pounds um so you should be able to try um several of the classes for free like just the, the 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 code just automatically when you sign up you put in the code who's referred you bl2024 and it will instantly credit your account with 20 dollars um which works out as pounds and it doesn't and like the the classes will show up in pounds um but yeah so it's about 15 pounds and a lot of classes are maybe you know seven pounds eight pounds so you can get um almost two classes free or you can get two classes free if you choose one of the cheaper ones um uh, the Miss Christie um, science is very hands-on. There's an experiment every single week. And the only reason we didn't continue doing it was just because um, I, like, it kept clashing. Like, I needed more time, like, the time in the lesson was great, but then I needed more time afterwards to clear up and we had something else to go to after his class. So then we ended up being late and I was just like, okay, this keeps happening. And then it did the next week just because of the cleanup. Um, because it was taking me a long time it was nothing about the class um and i just that's and we only we changed science classes after that because i was like i love this but i i just my schedule is clashing with it and the other classes just didn't match with the other stuff we had going on and it was really frustrating and albert was devastated because he loved miss christie and he loved the classes he loved being hands-on he's definitely a more hands-on kind of ch child um maybe we, maybe in us in september our schedule is changing again so maybe he'll have time for it again and then i'll actually have time to clear up afterwards um so maybe we'll try oh my gosh sorry <laughs> maybe we'll try going back to miss christie in september and do like her second grade class um because he's probably definitely ready for that um the other class we tried was with learning with love and it was a science class for five to seven year olds so kind of like year one year two and that was worksheet based it was kind of like a powerpoint presentation on um on the screen and then the teacher talked more about what was on there so it wasn't just her reading the um reading the powerpoint and then there was a worksheet for him to print out and or an activity like sometimes it was cutting and sticking and other times it was um um just writing stuff and I when he first started them I was writing it for him but now he would probably write it himself um that class was much shorter than Miss Christie's class so it was a bit more fast-paced and he had questions and he wanted to kind of chat with the teacher a little bit and ask her more stuff but she didn't really have time because there was like six other children in the class and it had to move on quickly because I think she had another class afterwards um whereas Miss Christie 
was able to have more time for them to chat about stuff um he liked from a science point of view he liked both of them but um he definitely preferred the more hands-on one and um yeah if our schedule works out we'll definitely go back we'd, i'd do either of them again but i would definitely go back to miss christie there we go does he do anything else no that's it there we go so that's what albert does my curriculum picks for my seven-year-old and um obviously the grade one to two you could also get away with k to one um brain quest books for the summer um, all of the links for all of the things I've said are in the description, including the classes and my code BEAL2024. Uh, remember, it gives you money off. And every time um, you use my code, I get money off. I get money to, I get a voucher. I think it's about the same. I think it's like $20 as well. And um, and that goes towards my kids' classes on OutSchool, which is a great help, especially now nobody in this house is employed so um i really appreciate it um when you do these things in the description so their home education is uninterrupted um in this really really rubbish time <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching and i will see you very very soon with another video bye oh don't forget to like and subscribe i always forget that i should just have a thing that goes across the screen shouldn't i like and subscribe comment send me comments i like it when you comment it makes me happy check out my instagram and my tiktok both adventure all the way i'm posting a home ed video and a horse or dog video on tiktok every day also i'm doing loads of youtube shorts so check those out as well i'm gonna go bye <laughs>